From Hollywood, it's time now for... Johnny Dollar. This is Lola Chase, Johnny. Lola, where are you? At a hotel over at Marisol Beach. Marisol Beach? You're here in Barbados? Yes. Look, when I left you in New Orleans, you promised to go back home to New York. I know, but I just couldn't stay there. Look, it's my husband you're after, Johnny. He's an embezzler, and according to you, he's even a murderer. But he's still my husband. If there's anything I can do to help him... Lola, the best you can do is to stay away. I'm sorry, I just can't, Johnny. Please don't try to make me. (sighs) Lola, I'm coming over to see you. Tonight, and every weekday night, Bob Bailey and the transcribed adventures of the man with the action-packed expense account, America's fabulous freelance insurance investigator... Yours truly, Johnny Dollar. From Special Investigator Johnny Dollar, location Barbados, British West Indies... To the Home Office Universal Adjustment Bureau, Hartford, Connecticut. Assignment, the Phantom Chase matter. Expense account continued. Item 23, $1.20, American. Cab fare to Lola's Hotel at Mirasol Beach. She was waiting for me on the terrace. Please don't be mad at me, Johnny. Oh, I'm not mad, Lola. It's just that I hate to see you keep leading with your chin. It's the best way I know of to get kicked in the face. I know. After all Chase has done, you still... I've discovered something about me. Yeah? What do you mean? It does hurt to get kicked in the face. It hurts plenty. But you know, after a while, you get over being hurt. Oh. When you found out it was a woman who arranged Tom's hideout in New Orleans, I thought, well, it seemed like the end of the world for me. Up to that point, I kept trying to tell myself that the reason Tom had embezzled the money was because he was in trouble of some kind. And I could help him. But I guess down deep I knew, right from the start, it had to be another woman. And that's why I wanted you to go back to New York, Lola. I don't want to see you get hurt anymore. I know. But, Johnny, I don't think I can be hurt anymore. Yeah, well, I wouldn't count on it. I mean it. When I found out there was another... It ended a lot of things for me. And one of them was the way I used to feel about Tom. You're over it now? Not completely, of course, but... Things are different with me now. Then I still don't get why you came down here. I still want to help Tom if it's humanly possible, don't you see? Let's say I feel obligated to because of the way things used to be. Does that make sense, Johnny? Yeah, I I guess so. Well, I gotta be going now, Lola. It looks like your husband is holed up on an island about three hours from here. Is he all right? I wouldn't know. I haven't been close enough to find out. Except once. And that once got me a lump on the head. What do you mean? Oh, I ran into a girl named Connie. Thought she was Tom's friend. She offered to locate him for me. I guess he was following and caught up with me down at the waterfront. He attacked you? Yeah. Then it turned out the girl was only trying to promote herself a trip back to the States. She knew I was looking for Chase. She'd had a date or two with him, so she saw a chance to make some money. But how did you find out where Tom's hiding? The girl heard him talking to a fisherman. She pointed him out to me. He told me he'd taken Chase to Lagos Island. Now, if that fisherman's on the level, it looks like the case is just about wound up. And if he isn't? It could be another trap. But with luck, I should be back by dark with your husband. I'll be waiting, John. Expense account item 24, 950, long distance call to chase a senior partner, George Everson, in New York. I figured he ought to know that Lola was down here in Barbados. Lola there? Why, Mr. Dollar, I thought she was right here at home in New York. No, she just arrived this morning. This is no good, having her there. It just means more pain for her. She says she's over that part of it. You don't know, Lola. I don't think she'll ever be over Tom Chase. Mr. Dollar, I'm going to take the first plane to Barbados and bring Lola back to New York with me. Yeah, I think that's a good idea, Mr. Everson. This time, maybe you can make her stay. 
Things could get a little rough around here, and I'd just as soon she was somewhere else. Rough? Johnny, you've located Chase? I think so. Well, look, uh, maybe if I came down right away, I could persuade him to give himself up. Afraid it's a little too late for that, Mr. Everson. It looks like Chase is holed up on a deserted island. I'm leaving in a few minutes to pick him up. He doesn't know you're coming? That's what I'm going to find out. See you when I get back. I hope. <laughs> Item 25, 30 bucks rental on a power cruiser. I wanted one I could handle alone and one with a radio. After I'd arranged for it, I told the owner to get it ready while I paid a visit to Inspector Woodson at Colonial Police Headquarters. Lagos Island, sir. That's where this chap Chase is hiding. Yeah, it looks like it. According to this chart I have, it's about three hours out. Yes, just about, I should think. How'd you find out that Chase was there? Well, I finally located that girl, Connie, who'd pulled the disappearing act on me. Good. Not good. Turns out she isn't Chase's girl after all. Oh. At least I don't think she is. But she'd heard him talking to a fisherman. She pointed out the fisherman, and he told me he'd taken Chase to Lagos Island. I wonder, Mr. Dollar. Hmm? Well, doesn't the whole story sound just a wee bit pat to you? Yeah. And that's just what's worrying me. This whole deal could be a trap. Connie could still be Chase's girl. And that fisherman could be in on the deal, too. In which case, you could be in for a bit of trouble at Lagos Island. Well, there's one way to find out, Inspector. Well, let's hope it's not the wrong way. What do you know about Lagos? Well, it's uh, fairly flat, pretty heavy underbrush, a small cove with a rickety pier and uh, and an abandoned house on the other side of the island. Anyone living on the island? I mean, other than Chase? No, not that I know of. Oh, there used to be rather good sport fishing out there, but that died down a couple of years ago. Oh, I doubt that anyone's been near the place in quite a while. I see. Look, Inspector, I'd like you to do me a favor. Of course, certainly. Well, I've got a radio on the boat I rented. My call letters are 6X3. Now, here's a description of the fisherman in this boat. I'd appreciate it if you could have one of your men keep an eye on him and radio to me if he puts out to sea after I do. Very well. Of course, even if he did put to sea, it wouldn't necessarily prove that he was working with Chase and was going after you. He might just be going fishing. Oh, sure. Just one thing, though, Inspector. Hmm? I don't want to be the fish. I went down to the waterfront. My boat was all ready, so I went aboard and shoved off. Once out of the harbor, I set my course for Lagos Island. The boat was equipped with a rig for lashing the wheel in position, sort of an automatic pilot. So I snapped it in place and started down into the cabin. And then I saw the cabin was occupied. Lola. Hello, John. Oh, great. For two cents, Lola. I knew you'd turn back and put me ashore, but please don't. I can't, but only because I can't afford to take the time. I'm glad. But if you think I like the idea of your stowing away, you're crazy. Do you mind telling me why you did it? For a very good reason. Well, let's have it. Tom obviously doesn't want to be found. I think he's made that clear enough. And you, well, you're the kind who doesn't stop until you finish your job. So? So, that being the way things are, Johnny, somebody could get hurt. And I couldn't stand that. I thought that maybe if I came, there, there wouldn't be any violence. Oh, look, Lola, Chase isn't going to get hurt if you'll just be sensible. I... I wasn't only thinking of Tom. I, I wouldn't want you to get hurt either, Johnny. Oh? I've thought of, thought about you a lot. About how wonderful you've been to me. It's funny. What is? Oh, just that if things were different, maybe you and I... Maybe. But things never are different, Lola. I know. Are you sure that's the reason you came along? What do you mean? It wouldn't by any chance be because you want to help Tom Chase. Help him? I told you, Johnny, if there's anything I can do to help you, I want to. That's why I came down I mean, here. help him get away from me. Thanks for your very charming opinion of me. It's wonderful knowing that's the way you feel. Look, Lola, whatever my own private opinions and feelings are or might be, sometimes I have to file them away and concentrate on the way things look. When the time comes, Johnny, you'll see that that isn't the way it is at all. I hope so, because the time could be pretty soon. 6X3 from Barbados Control. 6X3 from Barbados Control. Over. This is 6X3. Go ahead. Uh, this is Inspector Whitsett, Dollar. Oh, yes, Inspector. The fisherman in question left the harbor about 20 minutes after you did. He may be following you. Be careful. I'll try. Believe me. Thanks, Inspector. Over and out. What does that mean, Johnny? It means that this Lagos Island deal could be a trap. Oh, 
What are you going to do? Find out. What else? We kept going. A couple of hours later, we sighted the island. There was no sign of life, and I headed for the rickety pier. There was nobody in sight, so we went ashore. Inspector Whitsett had said the house was on the other side of the island, so we started through the underbrush. It's awfully dense in here. Yeah, it sure is. How far is it across the island, Johnny? Oh, about a mile, I think. Oh. Is there anything over there? A deserted house, although it's probably not deserted now. Easy through oh. here. This stuff is pretty rough going. Look, if Tom won't give himself up, Will you let me talk to him? Oh, I don't know. I'm not going to take any chances with you, Lola. You mean you still think I might try to help him escape? I mean, he could be pretty dangerous right now. Oh, he'd never turn on me, Johnny. Don't count on it. I remember a guy named Freddy Quintana who tried to turn him in back in New Orleans. <sighs> Freddy wound up dead. No, I still can't believe Tom had anything to do with that. He's not the type. <laughs> Johnny! Get down. You were saying, Lola? Where did it come from? Who knows in this underbrush? Come on, down in the gully here. He's shooting wild. He mustn't be able to see us. What do we do? Work our way along the gully and keep as quiet as possible. Maybe we can spot him from the other end. Keep on. Johnny, your gun, you're, you're not going to try to, to, to shoot him. You think he's trying to shake hands with us? Oh, but... Be quiet, will you? It's thick in here. Can you see anything at all? No, nothing. Hold it a minute. Not a sound. Now, look, you better stay right here, Lola. This is a fairly sheltered spot. You'll be safe. What are you going to do? Track him down. Johnny, how do you know it's Tom out I there? don't, I don't. But whoever it is is sure not hanging the welcome man out for us. I'm funny that way, Lola. I don't like getting shot at. Now, you stay here. But Johnny, do as I... I say. It's still wild. That came from a different direction, it sounded yeah, like. Yeah, from behind us. Toward the beach. Well, they must have circled around us. Hey. What's the matter? The beach. Oh, brother, is this a sucker play? What do you mean? He's heading for our boat. Come on. We took off through the underbrush, heading for the beach. It was slow going. Lions kept grabbing our legs. The footing was bad. Then we finally came out into the opening. I saw my hunch was right. He'd started the boat and was pulling away. By the time we got to the pier, he was heading out to sea, out of range. He turned and looked back at us over his shoulder. Johnny, it's Tom. It is Tom! Now, here's our star to tell you about the next exciting episode of this story. Next, a friend of the rescue and an unfriendly phone call from a killer. Join us, won't you? Yours truly, Johnny Dollar. Yours truly, Johnny Dollar, starring Bob Bailey, is transcribed in Hollywood. Written by Robert Reif, it is produced and directed by Jack Johnstone. Be sure to join us for the next exciting episode of this story on Yours Truly, Johnny Dollar, Roy Rowan speaking. <laughs>